okay last time last time we discuss started discussing about what are confidence intervals and uh, what is confidence coefficient and how to construct confidence intervals okay now today we will continue the discussion of how to construct confidence intervals and this time this we will see how to use the test basically the hypothesis test to come up with a confidence sets okay so last time we discussed this let's say hypothesis i want to distinguish between two hypotheses h0 or not and then we know for this when the samples are coming from gaussian distribution this is the likelihood ratio test we get and then if x is given to me i can test the condition whether this quantity is less than or equals to c and uh, it will give rise to a condition okay now let's get started with this today from this point so we know that exponential minus n x bar minus theta naught minus 2 sigma square this is going to be less than or equals to c this is my rejection region now let's focus on this now we can invert this exponential minus n x bar theta naught by 2 naught square by less than this i can write it as x bar so there is a squared here i missed x bar by theta naught to be uh, less than or equals to right and then this is 2 sigma square by n log c now this is a less than or equals to right because of the minus sign there is a minus sign here which i have taken on the other side huh oh, okay sorry you mean this that is fine now and we also said x bar minus theta naught this should be minus stigma or maybe we said further i can take it uh, down this two sigma sorry the sigma square n in the denominator and then square root do the square root both sides then i'm going to get minus two logs so this is basically i will get the condition and we say that this is basically the rejection region i can write as this is set of all points such that x bar minus theta if this is a, yeah this should be if it is a plus we said that this should be uh, sigma square by n should be greater than or equals to minus 2 log c and so maybe i should have that is x bar minus theta naught by sigma square by n should be minus 2 log c and if and x naught minus theta this is the negative right we said that uh, uh, this is minus if i take this should be less than or equals to minus 2 log c and uh, i think uh, there should be a square root here also agreed if my x bar minus theta divided by this quantity happens to be greater than this this should happen and now i can similarly can come up with the acceptance region so last time we said that so now uh, i see so now x bar minus theta let's say or like so x bar the if let's say plus theta 
plus I'm just taking this or maybe let me rewrite here itself if r is equals to such that if your x is such that x bar is greater than or equals to theta naught plus your yeah uh, this sigma square by n and minus 2 log c and x bar is less than this should be just a minute theta naught minus square root n minus 2 log c so we said that yeah this will give me so this quantity here maybe we can say and maybe this quantity is here and whenever my x is such that the value falls in this region i am going to sorry outside this either this region or this region i am going to reject and if it falls in between this i am going to accept and that acceptance region is called as all x that acceptance is easier to write so this is nothing but theta naught plus sigma square n and minus 2 log c theta naught minus sigma square n so now i want to do a little manipulation on this side a is nothing but x such that x minus theta naught divided by square root n less than or equals to my minus 2 log c and minus 2 log c so this is my acceptance region okay and now let's say if i compute probability that my so maybe instead of this let's say i compute if i compute probability that x belongs to r when the true parameter is theta itself what is the error this one gives you this will give you a type 1 error okay so now before i continue to so in a way this is already giving me some kind of hint that I am looking for x to be in this particular interval when I have to accept x to belonging to this my null hypothesis it has to belong to this. So this is giving me if I am going to invert this why here I am looking as a function of x. But what if if I fix x here and look for all theta which satisfy this condition? Maybe that will give me a range of thetas that potentially explains this uh, sample x. Well, in that way, we can invert this to get up our confidence set. Okay, before we go into that, let's look. I want to write this in a simplified terms. First, let z be standard Gaussian normal, sorry, standard normal distribution. Now, I am going to say that probability z greater than or equals to some z alpha by 2, this is equals to alpha. This is my definition. Uh, now, I am basically saying that for a given alpha z alpha by 2 be such that this quantity holds this probability holds what I basically saying suppose this is my Gaussian 
and I am basically looking for probability that z will be taking value larger such that that probability is alpha. Let us say if my z if it takes huh? it mod z uh, ok so now let us uh, for time being only put only this quantity uh, I want to ok let us let us right now for time being let us use that if I am going to only look at only what is the probability that z taking value larger than certain quantity such that this probability maybe I want this probability coverage of this probability to be alpha and this will happen at some point I am then I am going to call this to be z alpha byte fine ok now let us go back to our uh, hypothesis testing problem we had right probability so in the Gaussian example what is the condition we came up in the in this previous example this is our condition which translated to this quantity right so now let us look into this I want to write this x bar minus theta naught this quantity divided by sigma square n this is being greater than minus 2 log c ok now I know that the quantity here x bar maybe I will just write it theta naught divided by sigma square by n to log c. This quantity x bar minus theta naught divided by square root uh, sigma square by n this we know is Gaussian distributed with mean 0 and the variance equals to 1 okay and uh, okay now that is where we may need a mod of z just a minute I'll just let me check this okay so to I mean I want this definition to be compatible with this that is what what I will do is maybe I will just take mod of z here and in that case I want alpha the tail probability both on the positive side and the negative side that total to be equals to alpha and where that point happens on the x axis that is what I am going to call it as z alpha byte now ah, here it should be minus z alpha byte ok now let us now try to say that this is what this is basically the rejection probability right suppose let us say I am looking this under the parameter theta naught under theta naught I know this quantity is standard normal because the mean of x bar is theta naught and its variance is anyway sigma square now suppose I want this to be set to alpha alpha is given to me now can you find out a c that will give me this probability alpha so this is what this is type 1 error right now I want type 1 error to be set C now I am asking give me a test when I say give me a test yeah you can say ok take this LRT test but the LRT test remember you have to give me the value of C what should be the value of C that you should I should use so that I will get value alpha one possibility is what you can do is ok you can say ok set this to 
log c simply to z alpha by 2. You can do this. So, if I tell alpha on this uh, Gaussian curve, can you find me what is the value of z alpha by 2 uniquely? That is unique, right? Like if I tell alpha, you know that what is the tail probabilities that will give me the value of z alpha by 2. So, now I do this and from this, I will just do the inversion. What is this is going to give me? z square alpha by 2 and then I think this whole quantity divided by 2 then exponential of minus of this right. So, what I am basically saying now I am giving you a method if for the Gaussian sample if you ask me to set the type 1 error to be alpha then I am going to choose my C in this fashion exactly. Once you give me alpha my z alpha by 2 is fixed and then I use that quantity to find out my c and if I use this c then I am guaranteeing you that my type 1 error is going to be alpha. Okay? So, with this now let us continue. Okay, now let us start that my LRT test is such that it is already a type 1 error is alpha. In that case, I can simply replace my 2 log c by z alpha by 2 in, in these expressions. Okay, so, what I am going to get? What I am going to get? Maybe my I am starting with my rejection region to be probability that x such that x bar is now upper bounded by theta naught plus no, maybe I should, uh, I should uh, determine it. Maybe I should say x bar minus theta naught. Let me write this sigma square by n. This should be z alpha by 2 and on the lower side minus z alpha by 2. Okay. So, Or like I will just uh, further reap what it x as that minus z alpha by 2 sigma square by n and uh, plus theta upper bounded by this quantity plus z no I think no need z by 2 minus sigma square by n plus theta naught. Okay, so this is my acceptance region now. And this acceptance region, when I look under the parameter theta naught, when I say that I look into this under the parameter theta naught, I know that this probability is equal to how much? How much is this going to be? This is going to be 1 minus alpha. Why not alpha? Yeah, because this alpha was set on the rejection one. Now, this set is the complement of that. So, this is going to be 1 minus alpha. 